G'day folks, Andy here from McDowell Manor. So I thought it might be a good idea to document what it currently looks like for probably the last time. There you go. So you can see he's starting to be pulled apart. We've got bits of wood and bloody clay balls. <laughs> Crap everywhere. Those buckets behind those pieces of wood are full of clay balls. Got a waiter's pool down there, toddler's pool down there full of balls. And there's another big pile of balls over there. These ones haven't been cleaned yet. They'll have to be washed eventually. Um, and you can see over there is bits more timber that I'm trying to pull off. Um, thought I'd give you a look at how it's progressing so far. You can see the structure inside now, how it was built. Um, I can also see the legs are really tilted. I can see how bad it actually got. It's probably a good thing we intervened. What I've got to think through as I do the rebuild is that backboard is really arched out in the middle. Um, you know, how strong it now is, whether it should be replaced or whether I can brace it or what the hell I'm going to do, I'm not quite sure yet. The one on the other side has lent way forward. Uh, but that's what caused the, tri that's triggered the approach. But yeah, you can see she's being pulled apart. I'm having trouble getting some of the bulkheads out. Um, I'm just not strong enough to move them, you know, bloody things. Anyway, we'll keep at it. Well, not a whole lot left now. Most of the shade structure is down. I've left that one beam in place. Uh, mostly just because I can't be bothered pulling it down right now. <laughs> now what I've left in place here, I'm going to stop this afternoon, I'm buggered, had enough. Um, what I'm going to do is leave that there because that wall at the end, uh, where are we, there, that wall, is acting like a bit of the chicken house. So I might pull it down tomorrow morning, I'll start on, oh no I won't, I've got to take my mother to the doctor. Anyway, when I get home, I'll start on that again. Um, and that'll be the first bit that comes down, just gets temporarily replaced with a little bit of that mesh and that'll keep the chickens at bay while I get on demolishing the final stages of that bed. Um, and also building, beginning the build on the new one. As you can see, there's not a whole lot left under the on that little fella now. Well, he was actually quite a big fella, but Geez, you can see the lean on the legs. That really was going over. <laughs> Probably only got in, a, you know, about three months before the whole lot fell ass over here. But anyway, good, any save's a good save. That's what I say. Well, it's gone. Oh, that one end there, I've just left that in place because it seals off the chicken pen, obviously. And it seemed happy to stand by its lonesome, so I've let it. Probably leaning on the wire. Um, so there you go. It's gone, folks. I know it's probably not shocking you as much as it's shocking me, but holy guacamole. My yard looks big. Right, they've still got to take that top beam down because it's obviously bent crazily. Um, but I'm not in a rush to do that either. I'm going to start and have a bit of a measure. Um, so the bed, the new bed, will go across there. Across here. That way. Um, be slightly higher than the one at the back so that it can drop straight back in there. Alright, so that's the plan, folks. I just wanted to give you a look at the destruction of the big boy. The big boy will never be again. Alrighty. Now this is one of those things that nobody else in the world would probably notice except for me. This filter was up the other end because remember the big bed used to come in up that end and these little beds were also sloped so they came in up that end as well. So I've completely turned the beds around. Uh, let me tell you that was fun. <laughs> that water you can see running there that's just a big pump. Um, I'm virtually running it just to keep the water aerated. It's got a big filter on the front as well so that sucks some muck out of there. Um, you know in the absence of having the big bed up. I've cleaned out those filter pads. I thought, gee, they got dirty quick, didn't they? That's because I've been mucking around with everything. Um, so the theory will be, like last time, all the water will now come in this end. 
So the aim will be to have the big bed flood and drain straight back into that filter with as little piping as possible. But we'll have to see how that goes. I'm still thinking about that. Mm, anyway, um, so there you go, folks. It's at least the little bed. Not that it's doing much at the moment, but it's all back in action. Um, so it can be pressed into service properly now, which will be a good thing.